I'm here in one of my favorite places again and uh, I'm in South Korea and it's cold. It was uh, minus eight when I went out running today and uh, uh, but now it's beautifully sunny. There's still some snow on the ground. You might be able to see the snow down below. But I wanted to talk a little bit about um, Facebook scamming and uh, many of you know that I've been caught up in uh, in some scams recently where people have taken my photographs off of Facebook and then used those photographs to make fake profiles and then taken those fo fake profiles and used them to cheat women out of money. So the way that this works is that they, uh, the, the gang who I believe comes from Benin in Nigeria um, from the, the research that I can find out uh, they basically steal people's photographs and then they make up a story and the story usually goes like the person is working for the US Army based in somewhere like Kabul, Afghanistan or Aleppo, Syria which are the favorite ones that I've, that I've found um, and the person's maybe an army surgeon or some kind of uh, senior person in the army and um, then they, uh, they say that they are usually divorced or widowed. Widowed is a favorite one with a young child. So with me, they use pictures of my son and I, and they say that I'm widowed and, uh, and you know, have a 13 or 14 year old son. Um, and they're looking for love. And so they then target people that are vulnerable, people that have maybe had a, a little bit of a hard time themselves and uh, are going through some kind of challenges. And, uh, and then they, they target these women and say that, uh, you know, over a period of time, they fall in love with them. Um, they get these women to, to fall in love with these fake profiles. And then they start the requests coming for money. And those requests are usually around can you get me out of the army for a few days so I can come and see you? Can you get me out of the army so that we can build a family together? Um, I would like to be able to come over to your country. Can you, uh, you know, send me the money for the tickets? I'm, I'm waiting on my latest payment from the army. Um, it's difficult to bring money into uh, to Afghanistan or Syria. If you can just transfer me some money and then I'll give it back to you when I, when I come see you. So there's very many horrible ways of getting these people to make payments to them. And, uh, and then obviously they take that money and then they try to bleed more money out of the people. Now this is a horrible scam because it makes the women that, uh, that fall for it feel not only um, abused, but really, uh, it, 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 it's this horrible sense of guilt, of shame, um, that, that they could have been trapped into one of these scams. But the guys that are scamming them are incredibly clever. They have even used the videos like the one that I'm doing now. Uh, they've used that for live chat with the women. So what they do is that they, they take my, my video and then they dub it over with, with words like, um, you know how much they love the person and how much they you know they're, they're looking to build a life together um, and uh, so they, they put these things together as videos and then they use them for live chat uh, and then of course the signal will go bad because they're in Afghanistan and then they will continue the conversation again on um, on chat so uh, they're, they're clever um, the fake documents, so there's fake documents, there's American passports with my pictures on, there's uh, um, bank statements, there's all sorts of different uh, fake documents, the army documents, and they have my photo on in different different guises. So um, for, for me myself, I'm, I, I don't really care that my photos are out there and that people are using them. Um, you know, I, I use social media. I know what the, the risks are. I know that when you put your photos out onto any sort of social platform, they can be stolen. They can be stolen off of your website as well. They can be stolen from pretty much anywhere um, and then used to create these fake profiles. Uh, it doesn't really bother me. What does bother me is that people are getting hurt um, as much as possible. I know that I can't stop these gangs doing it. Um, there aren't any authorities that are particularly interested. 
Uh, you know, there are some cyber crimes divisions, but they're not working on what they see as this is like petty crime. Um, so uh, I don't think the authorities for some time are going to be able to really help or be interested in helping. The only thing that I can do is try to build awareness that this is happening around the world and that, uh, that people are getting scammed and they're getting hurt. They're getting hurt financially uh, and perhaps even more importantly, emotionally. Um, so if you can push this video around a little bit so that people find out about it. Um, if you look at my, uh, my Facebook profile, you'll see that I've posted a lot of different fake profiles on there and, and try to explain a little bit about how this happens. But the message is really, I want, to get, I want to get as many people to know about this as possible so that the people that are, that are vulnerable, the people that are getting scammed, uh, don't get scammed and don't feel that huge sense of guilt and shame and frustration that they're, that they're going through. Okay, uh, push this out if you can. Uh, I appreciate the help and uh, much love to you all.